What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today, we're going to be getting into some things, some drama concerning the Baddies East cast, specifically Natalie and Tasiki. So girl, we got a lot to get into, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell, so you know every single time I post a new video. Girl, it's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Mob. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that, and yeah, let's get into the mess. No shade, but child, y'all know Natalie be everywhere but at home with her child and her husband, okay? So, girl, it is, you know, she be around the fan. She, at this point, Natalie has kept herself relevant up until now, girl, and I'm pretty sure she's going to be relevant in the future, girl, because the girls love drama. So, because she's keeping herself relevant, she's going to run into some fans, some fans that do and do not like her. And clearly, a lot of fans get rubbed the wrong way by her antics of this hood girl aesthetic and persona when we know where you came from. Bay Area, San Francisco, California. And this is my home. This is where I live in Pleasanton. It's the East Bay. And I'm about to hope that you can see me. I'm going to get lower in my seat. But um, basically, I'm from Pleasanton. Um, you can look around and see. It's like the homey little town in my car. Very much colorist, dismissive, and degrading towards black women. A half Asian and black girl, she gonna punk you for that bitch. And I'm not Asian, bitch. Annie, we should be roommates. You're gonna get the ghetto black bitch. She's gonna punk you all the time. A liar, a manipulator, a narcissist, and overall a very, very, very bad friend, child. I love you and you really like... Just show me I'm not your friend. You're not my friend. So all of this from the outside looking in, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of fans who may, who, who girl, they, they may not care too much for Natalie, okay? But, you know, we, we got the fans who just watch it on TV. Like me, I'm just the girl who watches it on TV. I make my content. I talk my ish and I move on, okay? But girl, we got the fans. <laughs> It's not funny. We got the fans who take it to heart. Oh, we got the fans that when they see these girls in person, oh, oh, they want they fade. And that is exactly what happened, girl. Natalie was outside, and girl, one of the fans caught her slipping and basically told her, like, straight up, girl, I want my fade. Like, girl, I want to get into it, okay? I don't know what exactly what it was about, but uh, child, you know, it, it, it was a lot going on, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm the most professional baddie you'll ever get. And I know that. You're a bad and girl. I, I know that. So That's it why. Was, there was some things that hindered me to be here. I know. Time. I know. And but I what understand you, that. What, what can okay. I do to make it up for you right now? What, I, what would you like? What right now, I want to fight right now. Fight who? You. Oh, yeah. In the grass, oh, right oh, now. Oh, oh, That's okay. I'm not going to oh, hurt her. I'm not going to hurt her. In the grass, right now. That's okay. I'm not gonna hurt her. I'm not gonna hurt her. If no. that's what she wants. But you know it's cute. No. But it's no. cute that you came no. with a teddy bear. I know. My friend and made you, that. And, you, and you're doing it for clout. Exactly. And I love that for you. I came here. I came here. You're, you're, you're gonna you, remember you're doing me right though. Now I'm a bad bitch. I'm in the holiday spirit. Exactly. I'm a bad bitch. And I'm ready to make some shit. I know. I will fuck you up too. No. Okay, so this is low key, but high key, but high key, but low key, very, very messy. So I read some of the comments and some of the comments was basically calling her a clout chaser, a bum, somebody that went a clout, camera time, this, that, and the third. And then also there were some comments that were calling Natalie out for being scary. Okay. Because y'all know Natalie play tough with everybody else. But when the fan kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like pull her a card a little bit. She ain't want no smoke. Okay, so the girls were calling her out for basically not wanting to, you know, get down without security. They was calling her scary. Let's go ahead and get into these messy comments. 
All right, so somebody said, now why fight a fan without getting paid? Natalie don't want to waste no time like that. Then somebody else said, she's a scary clout chaser. Pay her no mind. Obviously referring to the fan. And then the last comment says, Natalie ain't getting in the field without security. Now y'all let me know how y'all feel. Me personally, girl, I feel, I feel, but... <laughs> I don't even want to really call her scary because it's like, what do I look like getting into it with you? Like what, like, you know what I'm saying? Like what, like really though, what do I look like? But at the same time, who, if, if somebody call my fade and they're pulling my card, who am I? Why would I turn that down? Like, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I feel like it kind of go both ways. I feel like either way, I feel like either route she went, you know, I feel like either route that she went would have been valid. You know what I'm saying? It's like, because why am I finna sit here and let a random pull my card? Like, you're clearly a fan of me. Like, you showed up to a meet and greet for me. What do I, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, like, who are you to be pulling my card right now, calling me out to fight in front of all of my fans? Girl, boo. Either that, you know what I really would have did? Um, basically in that video, Natalie did have fans who came to her defense. I'm not going to lie. I would have told one of them fans because I'm pretty sure they would have listened, child. Okay. <laughs> the girls, the girls get, the girls fall to their knees over Natalie girl. Okay. And, and, and the pool that she has. So what I would have told, if I was Natalie, what I really would have did is I would have told one of them, can, can, can you, can you take this fade? Because what do I look like fighting you? You came to my meet and greet. You pay girl boo bye. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, at the same time, it's like, is you really going to like, let, let the fan put your car. So I feel like either, either way she, either route she would have went. Honestly, I feel like it would have been valid. Like I, I wouldn't consider her scary because again, why? Why why was she like why was she even scooped to that level? You know what I'm saying? Like if if anything like I said before, get girl uh, to have one of your fans take that fade. You want to you baby, you want to um call me out in front of everybody. You want to try to embarrass me. You want to try to pull my card. Okay, well I'm going to get one of my uh fans to rock you. I'm going to get one of my supporters to rock you. They were honestly standing up for Natalie anyway, basically escorted the girl out, told her to get out. You know what I'm saying? Get out her face. That's not going to go down. So I'd be like, okay, uh, one of y'all take this fade, period. <laughs>what I've seen in the media for the past couple of years I have gained the conclusion of course that the Malone family have not really kept their past a secret and their past is very dark like when you you know what I'm saying like they did not have a a a, a very good upbringing you know what I'm saying like Every single time they speak about it, they're they're on the verge of tears. They're speaking on stuff that is very dark, very heavy on the heart. You know what I'm saying? Trauma, this, that, and the third, baby. They have been through it. According to multiple people from the Malone family, one of the dark times that they went through, unfortunately, was allegedly molestation from multiple of their own family members okay they have spoken out against their own family members and one of those family members that they claim did it to them okay is Tessiki, aka Latifa Malone. So before we actually get into Tessiki responding, not so much responding, but addressing these allegations, I am going to basically provide some lives so you guys understand what she's even, you know, addressing. So let's go ahead and get into it. Real, that's facts. Ain't no, oh, He's lying. He's just shorty. I ain't got time to lie. And I ain't trying to degrade nobody's career. And I ain't trying to get clout. I'm doing this because y'all just bought my name up. Y'all woke me up. My mama fucking sleep. Yeah, the whole family talented. Yes, yes, sir. I'm not going to lie about that. The whole family talented. Is, it definitely is. Even with Tashika, she talented. Little bitch fucked up back then when she was, when I was seven years old and they did that molestivity. But other than that, shorty grew the fuck up and she's talented. That's what I said. Don't hold. Pass against people? I didn't. Y'all brung my pass up. Y'all look, believe what y'all want to believe. At the end of the day, Shorty did that. The motherfucker's sick. And my aunt Krishan ain't got nothing to do with it. My uncle Lil P D ain't got nothing to do with it. So y'all keep their names out of that. Please. Cause them people going through enough. And they don't have shit to do with that. I promise you that. I promise you that. If, if it was that the case, I would have said names. Stop playing with me. Y'all dealing with a grown Man, I'm 27 years old, shorty. I'm not about to sit here and hop on here and play and dictate y'all, nigga. 
Yes, my son was seven, going on eight. They was all kids, but they was older than my son, and they knew better. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. They knew better. I hug them every day, baby. I got you. I hug them every day. <laughs> and it hurt them more right because they keep lying. That's why we're taking that lie detector test. It hurt them more because they keep lying. That's why he like, my. let's just do the test and get this over with. That's what we're going to do. People are so crazy. I hate the fact that some people are here thinking that it's a lie. They sick too. They sick. Because who the fuck in their right mind will come on live and talk about some shit like that? Like make up some shit like that. At that. And the sick shit they did and the... Man, I'm not even gonna get into that today. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. Hey, like, I want to be honest. I don't have a real relationship with my sister because when I realized when I got older, she didn't really fuck with me. Too when we was kids. She was a fast individual, bro. She, ask her, ask her about when she wanted to play house. Did, what, no, because she acting like motherfuckers ain't really trying to touch me. Like, we don't like each other because our childhood, bro. Don't bring, don't be making shit up. Like, yeah, we forgive you and all this other shit. We don't talk about what happened. And, and, and now you're trying to, like, make it seem like something really happened, something really was going on. First of all, that's all TV. But if we would be honest, I forgave you, Latifa, for a lot of shit and still forgive you. Just keep my name out your mouth, my nigga. I don't talk about you. Rashawn is saying she was trying to play hours, play housework. Oh, yeah, that's what she did. That's how she got my son. I'm running up to her ass. You know what this bitch said? <laughs> we was playing house. That's what she did. So she definitely not lying. <laughs> Krishan is not lying. I already knew all the troopers going to come out. What I tell y'all? Remember when she was on Prince Live and she used to talk all that shit, talking about we was lying, this is in the third. What I tell y'all? God gonna show herself. No and he always did. What's up, Lax? No, she really said that part too. I just saw that part too. I didn't see that part at first. What? what, what that she, she touched her said, too? No, she said, yeah, Tifa, you see, we, ain't, we not cool from when we were kids. What do you think I forgot? Um, yeah, you want to keep playing house? Some shit like that. Like, I didn't see that part too just now. And how the fuck, I, told, I knew Tristan wasn't the only one, I knew it, I knew it. We was just the only ones that spoke up. And I'm glad Krishan's speaking up now. See how God worked? I love the Lord. That's why I said we're going to sit back. The truth always come out. Always. So, yeah, this is some heavy stuff. And, again, it's not just one person saying it. It's multiple people saying it. Multiple people trying to confirm it. And it is a mess. Okay? So, Tessiki, again, she recently spoke on it when she was getting ready for the reunion. And they captured this moment where she, again, she addressed it. She spoke on it. She spoke her piece. And let's go ahead and get into what she had to say. People that people that rape and you know hurt people hurt children, they should be dead or in jail. For sure. I'm gonna keep pushing. That's what I said. They ain't my kids, so that's why I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep getting this bad. They ain't my kids. I got just bitches scared because they see me on the big screen. They was like, oh my god. Once people know her, once people know, like, cause I, it's crazy because what people try to say I did, something that happened to me. So it's like my family knows that. So I feel like they thought that. Everybody always just call me a star on fence. I feel like they think that once I got that spotlight and then I tell what happened to me, I'm a blow up so much. Yeah. So I feel like they, they was like, you know what, let's just say that her story is our story. That's the story yeah. I can think of. Yeah. It's like, where you coming with that? Where you get that from? Yeah. And then, so all of a sudden she's, she's calling my dad. Oh, she said my dad was a rapist, all of that. And all I did was one of my platform and was like, hey, no, he's not. Like, that's, I never heard that. You feel yeah. me? So I'm like, I've never heard that. Like, that's that's not true. So me saying that, literally, they went on her social media and was like, hey, your sister just said it wasn't true. You're a liar. She went and said, oh, she said it's not true because she's, she's a rapist too. Like, what? So I became that because I... You know, I was defending somebody, and, which is my dad. And did Krishan vouch for that? No, see, see, when Krishan back was against the wall. She went to that. Yeah, she had no choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, she, she yeah, had nothing yeah. to say. So, like, people was dragging on the internet. Like, who's getting their sister? Not even your sister. Bitch, I'm your mother. 
yeah. I did what my mother was supposed to be doing yeah. for us, for her. So, yeah. who the fuck does, who the fuck gets their mother jumped? Nah, you feel me? Nah, and jump with them. Because yeah. their bitches ain't doing it good enough, so you jump in with them. Who does that? You feel me? So, to justify it, she like, she said, yeah, we was playing house. What the fuck is you talking? I don't play house with no fucking little ass girl. Are you fucking dumb? The age different, nigga. <laughs> and then it's the age different. And then it's another thing. It's like, they they keep saying I was bougie, I was bougie when I was a kid. I was. I'm still bougie. So yeah. if I was bougie, the fuck think I'm gonna touch y'all little ugly motherfuckers. Fuck out of here. You now and I gotta take in consideration that y'all weird and y'all nasty. Cause y'all had to fantasize about that shit to make you had to put it together in your head. So you obviously fantasizing. You feel me? Cause you and I both know it didn't happen. So where did that come from? You fucking thought of that shit. You sick. You think of me that way. That's nasty. You're disgusting. I'm that bitch though. That's a so girl, okay, so when this initially came out on Krishan's end, when Krishan initially came out and basically spoke on it, I'm not going to lie, I thought that Krishan was capping. Okay, I really did because it was the timing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was around a time where the episode were basically released where Krishan was trying to get Tessiki to eat up. Well, Vicky and on a Mac, Tessiki didn't want to do it because she didn't want to be a bully and she didn't want to, you know, get on girls who clearly could not see her, uh, you know what I'm saying, in, uh, in an altercation. And then T Krishan turned around and got her sister junk. So, around that time, Tessiki, like, her fan base was growing, you know what I'm saying? like the odds were kind of against Krishan and everybody was you know team Tessiki around this time so when she did it when she posted it up it was given like like Tessiki said in that video like it was giving you were you know what I'm saying just a little like hating a little bit because you you conveniently posted this on your story when your sister was getting all of this love you know what I'm saying and then for about a year and a half um, their older sister China and her son were already speaking out against Tessiki and Krishan stayed silent. She didn't say anything to defend them. She had there were people calling them cloud chasers, calling them liars. She never came to their defense. She only spoke up when she was getting backlash and Tessiki was getting praised by the fans. So that's why I me mean, personally, I always thought that Krishan was capping. But when I really look at everything. I'm not saying that it's true, but I, I kind of like, you know what I'm saying? I still feel like, don't get me wrong, I still feel like what Krishan, I feel like Krish, it was very convenient of Krishan to, to say it when she said it. You know what I'm saying? And what she was trying to do, it wasn't to bring justice for what Tessiki did, allegedly did to her. It was more so to to ruin her image because she was getting backlash and Tessiki was getting praised again that's how I felt but again when I when I really look at it it's just like dang like it, it it's just some heavy dark stuff and I I just honestly at this point where I'm at I just don't even want to I'm not siding with anybody. I feel like that's really how I should have been from the beginning. Not that I sided with anybody. I just, child, you couldn't tell me that Krishan wasn't capping. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, even to this day, like, I feel like a little bad because it's like, dang, you, you really, girl, it's like, girl, you really don't know. Like, we really don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like not siding with Tessiki. But not again, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, everything is up in the air. We really don't know, child. Ain't nobody taking no lie detector test. China, their older sister, who was accusing Tessiki of doing it, girl, um, where her, girl, they, they swore up and down they was going to get a lie detector test. They never did. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we really just don't know. We, we, we don't know. One thing that does make me look at Tessiki a little sideways, though, is... She refuses to tell her real age. Like for the longest, she was telling us that she was 26. When she went on No Jumper, she was like, they were asking her how old she was. And, you know, it was awkward because she was like, oh, I, I can't tell you guys my age. Like it never gave a reason why. She was like, I just I, I can't tell y'all my age. And she was like, if you guys guess it, I'll let y'all know. And then, you know, they basically, she ended up telling them that she was 28. And I'm like, okay, so she, for the longest, again, for the longest, she was telling us that she was 26. Now she's 28. Google says 30. I, it, it's just, I don't know. It, it's just a mess. It, it's a mess, honestly. 
that family has a lot going on and the last thing I'm going to do right now is give my opinion on it because it's like again we, we just don't know what they went through we really don't clearly it was some dark stuff going on behind closed doors when it came to the Malone family child but we really don't know at the end of the day but if it is not true okay if the uh, alleged rumors are not true I feel bad because you know, it is something like no matter whether people believe her or not, it's something that she's going to have to live with for the rest of her life because it's out there. You know what I'm saying? It's out there. It is public knowledge. There are literally articles about it with her name attached to it. Articles, lives, girl, everything on the internet stays on the internet forever. Krishan just spoke out against her baby. It's just, I don't know. <clears throat> If it's not true, I really do feel bad for her. Then it's like, girl, it's like, it's like, then Krishan got her jumped and then she messed around, got on, got on her story, put these allegations on her. It, it's just a mess. But that is all I have for y'all today. I'm sorry if I got a little chill and calm towards the end of the video, but baby, the, it's just nothing to play about. Like I really, that's, I'm not even finna like try to keep key about that because it's not funny. None of it is funny. So that's why I got a little calm towards the end. Hope it wasn't too boring for y'all, but hopefully y'all stayed until the end. I love y'all so much. Honestly, would not be here without y'all. Y'all know I'ma always give y'all my heart. I'ma always give y'all, you know, just just what what I can provide when it comes to entertainment purposes. And I always do try to give back. So just stay tuned for um future giveaways and just stuff like that, just to give back to y'all because again, I would not be here without y'all. Whether watch hours, subscribers, girl, monetization, all of that. What girl without the messy mob, like I, I wouldn't, girl. Okay, and I give y'all my 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 full appreciation. I love y'all so much. It's messy Maya. It's the messy mob, girl. We are at sixteen k subscribers. No, seventeen k. I recently hit seventeen k, girl. Don't play with it. Okay, love y'all so much. It's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Mob. Bye. <laughs>